All right, so I recently picked up the New Balance 991 V2. This is the latest and greatest model from New Balance with regards to the made in the UK version sneakers. Retail on this is crazy though at $250 and they are a little bit scarce right now on their website. However, in this video, I wanted to compare the very popular 990 V6 to the 991 V2 and just show you guys kind of the details up close on each of the pairs, some of the things I like about one pair or the other better, and hopefully you guys find this comparison video somewhat informative. Now, if you guys wanna buy either of these sneakers, I will link them in the description of the video as well as the other alternative, which is a 991 V1, and this one is available in all sizes. However, the V2 is slimmer sizes, and then they do have the 990 V6 in a couple different colorways, but let's go ahead and transition to the other camera and get into some of the details. All right, so just to give you guys a recap look at the 99 V1 versus the V2, here is the shoes side by side 990 v1 on this side 990 v2 as you can see on the back right here it actually says v2 the other one has the 991 there the 991 is on the side of the v2 as you can see there there are a couple of subtle differences in the midsole as you can see here the main difference is that the v2 actually features fuel cell in the midsole and the v1 does not the v1 also has a slightly shorter tongue than the v2 i actually prefer the v2 tongue a little bit better because of that also you have the made in the uk branding back here on the v1 the v2 says it's made in the uk but it actually doesn't have any like flags or anything like that it does look very similar from the toe down however as you can see on both of the shoes kind of the panels and the layout is fairly similar uh, on both of the models. And the 991 might be my favorite New Balance model, honestly, to date. I just, I really like the aesthetics of what the model offers, and I think it is a, a beautiful looking shoe. And just for comparison, here is a 990 V5 versus the 990 V6. So uh, similarly different, as you can see, they kind of changed the entire thing up from the previous. And uh, all in all, like I like the 990 V5 a lot. This one was a, an amazing model, but I just wanted to show you those side by side. Now here's a look at the 991 V2 versus the 990 V6. Made in USA, made in UK, kind of the flagships of both worlds. The made in the USA 990 V6 is the pair that was released in 2022. This pair came out in 2023. The retail on the 990 V6 is $200, and then you have a whopping $250 for the V2 version of the 991. Now, if you don't want to pay the 250 on that, you can actually go this route at 220, which is a $30 savings. I think that is actually pretty decent. However, if you want to go with the $200 version, this is the one that I would recommend. There's a couple of reasons why I think that this is a better model than this one. And so let's go ahead and get into some of the pros and cons about each of them. The first thing, just comparing the tongue side by side, the 990 V6 versus the 991 V2. I actually like the overall size of the tag a little bit better on the 990s because it is a little bit smaller. I do like the overall structure of the 990 V2 better though, however, because you do have like a little bit of a fork tongue here at the top. And this one is a little bit more rounded at the top. And I actually like this one a little bit better. Just the overall placement, again, is just a little bit bigger than I would. I also do want to point out you get more suede overall on the upper on the 991 V2. As you can see on the heel and the midfoot of the shoe, there is quite a bit of suede overlays. And then you do also have some of the mesh as well. On the 990 V6s, there is a lot more mesh uh, than what I would prefer on the shoe. Honestly, that's kind of like the bigger letdown of the pair is the fact that this whole mid panel right here is just mesh. Uh, and then you do have some accent pieces in here, some... Uh, 3M reflective materials here and there. But for the most part, this section right here is pretty bare of suede versus this one. So if you want more of a premium feel, consider you're paying a premium price for the product. Uh, this one does have a big gap right here. However, the suede hits that you do get on the heel back here, as well as on the toe cap, uh, and the reinforcement for the laces is really nice. I mean, it's the New Balance suede that we do appreciate. It's just a lot of price for the overall volume of suede, in my opinion. And even in the 991 V1s, you have more suede there than you do on this one. So kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Now, one thing I do like about both of the models is you do have fuel cell in the midsole of the shoe. That's the blue part here. That's the white part here. Fuel cell is one of the premium foam technologies that New Balance owns. Honestly, I'm a little surprised they didn't do Fresh Foam X in either of them. Fuel cell is supposed to be the more responsive of the two. Uh, Fresh Foam is kind of like the pillowy soft uh, cushion landing. Uh, but this one gives you a little bit of responsiveness. It feels pretty good. And just throwing this out there, the fuel cell that you see in the Elite Runners like this, this is an amazing shoe, the Super Cotton Trainer 2s. I did plenty of reviews if you guys haven't seen it on the channel, but this stuff is crazy, crazy soft, squishy on feet, unbelievably good. Uh, and it's just a different foam compound, even though it's called fuel cell on the midsole of this. So this is still really nice, really soft, 
better than most of the New Balance 990s in my opinion. However, comparative to the actually running line, it's not anything to really compare. This is like super, super soft. This is like a pretty nice phone. But that being said, the experience that you get on feet in either model here is really, really good on feet. In my opinion, they're probably the most comfortable pairs of New Balance 990s out of the entire 990 catalog. All the other models are usually pretty comfortable as well. Most of the people that wear 990s know that they break in and they're just overall very comfortable. But the comfort with the added fuel cell definitely makes it a little bit softer under foot but which is going to be the most comfortable out of these two that's going to be a tough one to say because if you like a little bit of firmer more substantial feel i think that the 991 v2s is probably that if you want something a little bit lighter and i think a little bit softer overall on feet i would go with the 990 v6 the other thing is that the v6 does come in wide and even extra wide versions so if you have an extra wide foot uh, this is going to be like a, an amazing pair for you. This is like the Action Bronson model for those people that didn't know. And the 991 V2 is actually the model that Stone Island did a recent collaboration on that I struck out on. And then this is the first colorway to drop. Now, when these drop in more uh, sizes and colorways, I will link them in the description of this video. Just in case you're watching this from the future and they do actually have them uh, readily available. Because as of right now, there's a shortage in this model. They're just not readily available, only in very select sizes. So I'll post them when they do restock. You can get the 990 V6 though in a lot of different sizes, colors, and also widths for those people, again, that need the wide foot. And again, link in the description if you guys would like to shop uh, for New Balance. And if you do use my link, it does give me a little bit of a kickback and it lets New Balance know that you guys saw the video and messed with the channel. I greatly appreciate it when you guys do that. Now, I did mention the weight was a little bit less. So it is 12.9 ounces for the 990 V6. And that's a men's 9.5. And then in the men's 9.5, you have 14.2 ounces on the uh, 991 V2. So a little bit heavier, as I mentioned. And for reference, the 991 is 14.1 ounces also. So that might be one misconception. If you have added fuel cell in the midsole of the shoe, does that make it a little bit lighter? I mean, it really doesn't make it that much lighter considering the other compounds that they actually have in this midsole and outsole. So the outsole traction is thick rubber. I mean, this thing is gonna last. You're gonna buy these, they're gonna be tanks. They're gonna last for a long period of time. I would say that there is more traction there than obviously you could see here, there's a little bit of a gap. So I feel like the wear and tear is gonna be a little bit more significant on the 990 V6s. However, you do still have some really thick traction here as well. It's just a little bit more gapped than on the 991s. Now the 991s also do feature the Absorb SBS pods and those help absorb shock and whatnot as you can see right here and then also in the front. It's kind of nice little jelly pods here. And then it also does feature end cap in the midsole. I believe that is the foam uh, around the outside of the shoe. So it's kind of like a dual density foam. You also do have something very similar to that on the 990 V6s. You do have fuel cell as you can see down here, but you also have the end cap midsole uh, cushioning for the lightweight foam uh, paired with that fuel cell. So dual density foam on here. It's kind of fun that they're actually mixing the traditional like cut and sew pairs of sneakers like this with the modernized technology with the fuel cell. My only hope is that they actually integrate some fresh foam X like this uh, into this guy as well. Just make an even softer version, just make a cloud version or something like that. Have it pretty much the same, but a uh, softer foam for those people that are wanting it. Because this foam is actually much softer than the fuel cell that they have integrated in here, at least in my opinion. And if you haven't tried these or haven't seen a video review on these yet, uh, I recommend going and checking it out. This is probably one of my favorite shoes this year. This is the 1080 V13. Amazing, amazing running shoe. Very, very soft. Uh, super nice casual. If you're looking for an all-around walking pair of sneakers or just an all-around casual pair that's really soft on feet, these things are unreal. Uh, super, super good, and uh, I'm happy that I got a pair of those. Anyways, as for the toe box, you see both of them have suede, and then you have the mesh uh, panels here. You have a little bit of a reflective hit down here in the corner on the 990s. You also have a large reflective N on the 990 V6s, and then you have a smaller N on the 991s. Also, just wanted to point out the build quality inside here. Really nice stuff you get a very similar treatment in the 990 V6s as well. Now on the back of the shoe, the stack height is a little bit higher, it looks like, on the 990 V6s over here. The 990 V6s also have the Made in the USA uh, back here. The Made in the UK is actually underneath the tongue right here. And you also do have Made in the USA under the 990 V6s. They did move away from like the big flags and whatnot on the models. And as you can see on the 990 V5, they have the uh, American flag here on the tongue. So not really sure why they went away from the branding of the Made in the USA, Made in the UK, but it is something that they still promote as such. And both models feature reflective material on the bottom of the tongue. Uh, here and here. So I like that there is minimal amounts of reflective materials, but they're impactful. They make a difference because they actually do work. And it's something that if you're walking around the streets and whatnot outside, you will be able to be seen in all different angles. It makes logical sense that they have reflective details on the heel, the sides, and then the front of the shoe. And I like that they have that all covered. Also, the additional material underlay right here is actually a perforated suede versus the 991 look more like leather or even synthetic leather. And then just calling this out also on the midsole, you could see barely, but there's actually two different tones of 
uh, color on the midsole on both sides. So it is kind of nice that they actually changed it up there. And they do the same thing on the 990 V6, as you can see. Little hits of gray right here on the side. And I'm not an expert on the lifestyle side of things with the foam technologies and stuff, but I feel like the gray foam back here might be end cap, and then the white foam might be fuel cell instead. So I can tell from just touching the foams that the gray foam is firmer than the white foam. Same ones too on this pair, the kind of off-white color, the grayish, is a little bit harder than the wider foam on the front. Also, one other thing to note is the liner here is a little bit softer material, and then you have a textured mesh here on the 990 V6s. But leave a comment in the comment section, which is your favorite looking model overall? Just pure aesthetics of the shoe, how you like them on feet, the 990 V6s, or the 991 V2s. I mean, let's be honest, if we're here watching this video, we're privileged enough to even like consider buying a $200 pair of sneakers plus. I'm honored to be able to like do these videos for you guys, and it's honestly, just uh, like a dream come true for me, but it is all excess and it's all privilege and uh, it doesn't make you a better person or anything like that if you get like a better pair or more expensive pair of sneakers than the other people around you. And so I just want to throw that disclaimer out there. At the end of the day, be thankful for what you have. Back to the video though, which is uh, my preference. I mean, honestly, I do like this model. It's the latest and greatest one. I have had this one for a while to be fair and I have absolutely loved it. The 991 V2 is a little heavier. I do like the overall look, the aesthetics of the shoe, and I like that extra midsole detailing that they actually feature, which was something that they carried over from uh, the previous version as well. I, I like it. I think it looks really cool stylistically. I think it, this is a superior model in my mind. Uh, overall comfort, I would say, is better, and the overall functionality and wearability, I would say the 990 V6, because it is widely available, it's available in wide sizes, and the price point is a little bit more affordable as well. It's a little bit lighter also. Overall, I think this is a tremendous pair and one that you can't go wrong with. I do like the gray colorways of both of them, uh, but uh, they do have other colorways of the 990 V6. For those people that are interested, in, again, uh, link in the description. Much appreciated for anybody that checks those out. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video comparing the models. If you guys want to see other comparisons uh, like this, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what models. And I appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Have a good rest of the day. All right. Peace, guys.